So guys, this is Grant doing our Dumb War commentary here. Um, we've got actually the guy from the last game I just did, Sir uh, Nubalot, if I hope I'm saying that right, and a chaos player called uh, Tu, must be a clan as Savomar. Um, it's actually one of my favorite matchups here. We've got the chaos versus space marine, so it's one of my old time favorites. It sort of reminds me of better times in the Dawn of War, like with um, you know, when chaos had rocket launchers and all that good stuff. Uh. Versus my friends, Space Marine used to play a lot of that matchup. Like it was pretty good fun. Like so, as I said, I, I always liked the matchup. Always had a you know, always found it quite interesting. Like quite fun. So, what do we got going on here? We got um, we got like uh, it just seems to be two two sky squads. Maybe he's got another one coming in here. Um, seems to be that's pretty weird. He's like saying that he must be sending this one out to harass or something. This is a bit weird. Someone's, uh, it looks like I got some of the servers here. Some guys already commenting that Chaos will lose the match. I'm not sure, I wasn't watching them, what I see did there. So, Chaos player's got, he's just got the two Cultist squads out here, which is kind of dodgy, because most times I usually get harassed by Space Marine players. Use the, the, most Space Marine players I've seen the fight go for free, uh, they would go for free um, scout squads, and they would send one up to harass you, but it looks like this uh, Space Marine player hasn't actually did that. So, we got the early um, Raptor squad coming It's pretty standard with the Chaos nowadays, just to get a Cultist, or a Raptor squad out there, do some sort of early harass. Indeed, that's what we're going to see here. You'll probably see him decap this point here. Indeed, there it goes. He's going to decap that point. It's just, it's pretty nice harassment, especially in a small map like this here. It's quite hard to, to deal with that. So, successfully decap that point, just sort of damaging the Space Marine players' economy there. Chaos player is just uh, making sure he's just, um, you know, getting his own territory down, like getting this sorted. He's one for one plasma plant pretty early. I saw my wouldn't usually do. I, I would usually uh, not put my plasma plant until till after I have my. <laughs> well, I'm a bit different. Like as I say, I spam like free, free tactical squads. Like, but um, I usually wouldn't usually get my plasma plant until after I've, I've had two or three uh, tactical squads. I'm a force commander. Sorry, Lord. So he's actually reinforced the Cultus Raptor Squad up to five units. Like most people, most people seem to leave it on four until they get their Sparring Champion or whatever. But um, maybe he thought he's going to take a casualty. One of them is near dead anyway, so he probably just I'm not sure if he's just going to leave it at five or whatever. But it's not, it's not even a big deal anyway. <clears throat> so it looks like uh, looks like the Space Marine player is sort of contained here. He's not, he doesn't seem to be able to move out. And he's like, he looks like he's actually going to lose this point here. These are servers making their well informed uh, observations in the match, of course. Yeah. It looks like the Space Marine's actually moved it here and he's going to try and. Uh, he's gonna, it looks like he'll be successful in stopping the Cultus from capping that relic. As the relics take quite a long time to cap. And the Force Commander should be able to deal with these Cultus here. Um, the Cultus Raptors, even this range damage. I know it's not as good as his melee, it's still pretty nasty. Looks like he's bringing the Raptors back here. Looks, the actually uh, space, the uh, cast pair has lost all its cultists, like, but um, it's not, it's not really a big loss. You know, I I'd, I wouldn't really mind too uh, much about losing the cultist squads um, this far into the game after capping most of his points. In fact, it's quite helpful to free up some of the pop population up at top here. Squad cap, should I say? And got the space marine players. Got another tactical squad here, so he's got two and a force commander. But it seems very late. You know. Huh. I would have had, and usually about three minutes in the game, I have my force commander and three squads out. Rather, th uh, you know, it could be one raptor squad and two um, chaos or cult of squads, like. But generally, around about three minute mark, you want to have three squads out. Although I suppose the space marines are slightly longer because they can't force build their um, their chapel or whatever. But like, you know, still four minute mark. You know, having the fourth uh, second uh, squad out in the fourth minute mark seems pretty slow. Unless he just felt that he needed the extra, you know, extra force to be able to push out of space. So I suppose it wasn't a bad choice. It's just like, you know, that hesitation could be a problem though. Hesitating to do that decision. Mm. So we actually got the Chaos Lord. And here's one of my favourite units. Like, he's pretty badass. So he's just going to pick off some of these uh, Space Marines. But, like, I still think the Space Marine has the advantage here. He's, he's got two tactical squads here. He's actually losing... So the Chaos players using a few uh, Raptors here. I think the Raptor Harass is basically over at this point. He just... This is a map that is quite small, which is a, probably a disadvantage and an advantage at some points. So at this stage, it's a disadvantage because you can't really harass very much without getting, you know, walking into this uh, army of the space marine. So the cast player could be in a bit of trouble here. Um, 
a bit of trouble because um, right now he's weaker, he's far weaker compared to the Space Marine. So if, we, if the Kess player, if the Space Marine player was actually pushed in, he could do a wee bit of damage here. Although these system posts are upgraded, so he won't be able to do it without taking a good bit of casualties, which he probably can't afford to do at the moment. So it looks like the Kess player is quite content. He's actually reinforced the, the Raptor squad up here. He's, he's, he's not really feeling them as expendable. He's quite he's quite eager to keep them up to pretty decent strength. So uh, basically, apart from it looks like. Cast player probably. I think I just seen that there. That's quite a strong hole finish this upgrade there. So he's probably going to start going sacrificial pit or probably machine cult. He's going for a more sort of attack heavy build, as you can probably see. Like the only thing he's built is raptors and uh, a lord. So a pretty good, a pretty critical battle happening here. We've got the listening post. This is a pretty critical battle. This will determine who owns the controls area. And it looks like the spirit means lost. Yes, the it looks like that, that their squad is nearly entirely destroyed. It's just like that. Yep, he just lost the tactical squad there. It's very bad for him. Very bad for Space Marine player. Looks very bad indeed. Despite the fact that he had two tactical squad versus the one Raptor squad, um, he's he's come out worse, and he's also wasted the money in the, into that. So his tier one was a total, f his extra tier one was a total failure. And it uh, looks like the cast player is going to be able to attack up here, which he has been, and he also he has map control anyway now. So we got the we got the sacrificial pit coming out here. So we're going to probably see chains of tournament coming out from the chaos sorcerer. Going to be quite nasty here. But chains of tournament with the raptor squad is going to be a good combination. And he's just going for the doom bolt there. Surprisingly, the, uh, the marines are pretty tough. Like so, the morale is nicely broken by that. But like, it still does a good bit of damage anyway. Luckily for the space marine players, got this list on post, so I'll keep the uh, keep the chaos back for a wee while. But it's looking it's looking pretty bad for the Space Marine, I don't have to say. So we've got the Corn Berserkers here. You'll see the Sorcerer being attached to that squad and then change the formats. It's a fairly standard chaos thing you'll see nowadays. And there we go, he's actually done that. Actually got a prediction right, yes. Um Yeah, so looking pretty bad for the Space Marine at the moment. Not sure what he's got going on. He's just got looks like he's still got just got the one squad and the sky squad. Um Few scratch squads. Uh, not really much going on here. I'm sure he's not very good. Uh, there's a lot of chat going on the observer, so I'm not really listening to it very much. Like, only really interested in what the players have to say. To be honest, like I don't really like their fan. This sort of seems to be a lot of matches would have like the sort of fan club coming with them to watch the match. So it looks like the space Marine players actually got the monastery upgraded. So we're gonna see some tech coming out from him. And he's one for the sacred artifact, so should be a librarian. I'm guessing he's going for there. And we've got the heavy plasma for, or the plasma coming out from the force commander. So these berserkers are going to take a bit of a bit of flak here. Not doing very much here. It's very bad. He's in the he's in the negative defense, and he's taking a good bit of damage. So yeah, it's not very good. Like he's going to have to fall back. Like, but um, it's not like a game changing thing uh, effectively for the space marine or just a minor thing. So it looks like the this cultist or this guy's trying to take this um, uh, critical point, but he's been denied. So we actually got two regiments of cult uh, berserkers here. It's pretty nasty. He's got the he's got the sorcerer in one and the lord in the other one. So it's pretty. It's backed up, led by some pretty tough dudes. I haven't seen the chains come out yet. I, I might have missed that, and maybe it's on cooldown or something. But I haven't seen the he amused the chains of torment yet, which would be quite useful. Mm. Looks like he just doom bolted his own troops, like, but lucky enough, there's no thing damage, team damage. I think he caught like one space marine. Mm. He needs to get out of this negative cover. It's not doing him any favors. He needs to get into the actual on the actual ramp here, but he's just he's he's he's, he's not actually wanting to go into the space marine base. He's quite happy just to sit back. I think he has the attack, the attack advantage at the moment, and he controls more territory. I'm pretty sure he does. Actually, they, they both have four credit. Uh, well, I, I think the the chaos player probably has a small attack advantage and a small income bonus, uh, income advantage. So we've got the library coming in here, so this could be quite nasty. But it, mm, I've actually got the machine coping built as well for this space marine, so she's seeing some fakels here. But I'm guessing he's going to go for a standard sort of uh, rhino and then maybe go for some land speeder type stuff. Nah, maybe just dreadnoughts. So I'm not sure which. I have no uh, no machine pit coming in from the chaos at the moment. This is quite strange. Guess he's just saving up for tier three to get his uh, standard sort of um, precise space marines and uh, also uh, uh, obliterators. Looks like he just lost his uh, uh, sky squad there. 
keeps trying to take that uh, critical equation. Well, it's actually neutral at the moment, but um, he keeps trying to take it and he keeps <laughs> getting fought back. So it looks like this uh, Space Marine player is trying to attain a thing, taking home factor here. And there we go, we've got 